Hello to all YouTube viewers. Today we will uh, we'll try to to develop uh, the drawing interface to plot graphs uh, using the JavaScript and HTML canvas element. The tutorial is actually pretty long. So with the part one we will have just a few functions that uh, will initialize the surface uh, write uh, the canvas element actually inside the structure of the HTML file and prepare the random data for us to try if uh, the development uh, is fine if we didn't make any mistakes uh, which is the important thing uh, as we make another building blocks of the algorithm. The first function is the the prep surface which mm, which actually uses the document write uh, function uh, to to write the the canvas of the specified ID and the dimensions inside the HTML structure. Uh, the second one is the prep UI which actually is pretty much the just the start uh, for the user uh, to prepare all of this and we uh, we enclose these two functions with the with the one which is uh, prep plot uh, taking the number and size uh, size uh, the horizontal and vertical size of the canvas element we will try these two functions uh, now and as you see mm, on the screen there is nothing visible. We use the development tools of the Chrome to actually see the, the canvas element inside and that's the, the first building block we created. The next thing we want to do is that we want to draw the grid uh, on the, the canvas element uh, to make the plot like looking better just looking as uh, we can see all the plots uh, in the the office it is very important to remember that the the id should be unique so the number uh, passed to the functions uh, needs to be unique it can be either the time and date or uh, just uh, simply in by enumeration the the next number so if we have uh, a few canvas elements created with this uh, using this function it is important to know that which canvas we are writing on the draw grid functions uh, is using some of the canvas properties which is height and uh, the white uh, so it is a good idea to store this in the local variables uh, that uh, I'm gonna speed things up. Actually it is uh, the, the most important when we access uh, this, uh, these uh, values uh, multi multiple times in the function. The, uh, the stroke style uh, holds the the properties of the the drawing which can be the RGBA or RGB uh, value as a red green and blue components from 0 to 255 and the alpha channel which is uh, from 0 to 1 the 0 is completely opaque and the 1 is 100% visible the actual drawing is uh, between the begin path and close path and where these properties apply when we t talk about uh, making a grid it is uh, it is nice to have the the spacing required in both dimensions uh, knowing the the height and uh, also uh, the amount of uh, lines 
in both these dimensions the user wants to have. So the horizontal lines uh, are completely created by the user, but the vertical lines are strictly strictly connected to the data. Of course, we can do it another way, but this is the more the, the most straightforward. To access the data, uh, the amount of data, we have the date length, which uh, gives us the the length of the array with the data. Now we create a function that uh, prepares the data for us, so we get uh, the number of uh, um, the values stored in an array uh, returned by, by the function, uh, which uh, is in this uh, particular example the data mm, completely random using the math dot random function and scaled by the coefficient which is passed to the function. We confirm the mm, every every next uh, building block working with this uh, random data created using the prep data function and uh, this can uh, show us if we made any mistakes or no mistakes. So with random ra ranges uh, we can check uh, many of the mm, the examples uh, of the data that uh, can be later uh, provided by the user. And luckily we will see all the errors and make the function work well. With the second and third part uh, you will see the functions uh, actually drawing something and we will see something on screen which I think gonna be much more enjoyable and uh, less boring. But this is the first part everybody must uh, must go through when uh, writing everything you write a bunch of code and nothing works and uh, you you see nothing just errors mm, the developing this uh, part uh, i think when i was working um, on this um, at first took me two or three um, times more time thank you for watching me and uh, see you next time